Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we should be doing a little back to school morning routine. So I film these like every single time I come back from school after like a holiday or something. And you guys actually love these types of videos that I film. Today is my like summer one. I'll probably do another summer morning routine like when it's a bit more summery. So it's 7.04 right now. My alarm went off at 10 to 7. I just laid in bed for like 10 minutes, but I'm gonna get up now. Just have to get my hair done. We have to leave a bit earlier because I'm last to get to work earlier. I'm so excited because tonight is when Love Island starts. Because it's Monday the 5th of June, so Love Island starts. So I just finished May half term, but like I have Mox this term. I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. I'm gonna start off by I need to brush my teeth, make my bed, all that. <laughs> I feel like I'm washing your face with a cleanser. I'm pretty sure that's about three in the morning. It also kind of wakes you up if you do really cold water. <laughs> right now i have got my shirt on underneath dressing gown just my uniform on so it's a bit quicker when i'm done but i just brought up my ice roller so i'm gonna ice roll my face i think in, i think in my last video i used my other ice roller like the actual ice one but i think i prefer this one it actually hurts like it, i don't think it's supposed to hurt but it actually hurts so i love to just do it like on my eyes i have to be at school while well, we leave the house at like 20 past 8 and right now it is i'm gonna check my clock so my phone's on charge it's 7 28 i have about half an hour to get ready and then 10 minutes to eat breakfast 10 minutes to pack my bag yeah i'm just gonna quickly roll my face i'm really itchy because of my hay fever like around my mouth and around my nose people always ask me where i get the ice rollers from but i've almost from amazon but this one's from primark okay we're now going to do skin prep and i'm going to do a more of a natural eye like, makeup today so the first thing i'm going to use is my glow recipe toner i actually love this stuff so much i don't think in my last video if i had like, new products that i got some people hate the smell of this like my sister says it smells thick but i absolutely love the smell of anything like their watermelon range from glow recipe it's supposed to hydrate and pore refining i'm not really sure what your pores are and I love the packaging of these and then I just go in with my normal serum I use the ordinary hyaluronic acid I've used it for ages now I love it I need to get a new one because they run out so fast if you use it more than night it will run out so quick it's also preps your skin before you put makeup on so it makes your skin like so glowy okay we're now gonna go with moisturizer I think my camera's moved but whatever I'm using the drunk elephant one with some of my drunk elephant hydrating serum I'm so sad because I thought today was gonna be really sunny for like the first day but it's really cloudy and it looks like it literally like it's gonna rain it's supposed to be like 28 degrees at the end of the week so i'm so excited except i literally cannot be in school if it's 28 degrees because my uniform has tights but they literally make sweat tights all year round so in the summer for a sat on the field we're sat on tights sweating and it's so it's like the worst pain ever but yeah i'm just moisturizing in oh damn it i should have put guys i'm in a bit of a pickle so i want to use bronzing drops instead of like skin tint this morning just to go for more of a natural makeup but i also want to put sunscreen on so if i'm putting bronzing drops on what order do i put sunscreen on and then i also want to put a primer on so i don't really understand i think you put sunscreen on now but this needs to mix in with a moisturizer so it's just like a bit of a weird combo which i'm going to use dew drop so i should know like what order you put all this stuff in okay so i'm meant to do i was doing moisturizer in the wrong order i'm meant to do it in my last step but i'm gonna put on moisturizer again after this so i don't really know i just put it on two fingers i just wipe it in i never used to put moisturizer on not gonna lie then i got this glow recipe one because it's like the watermelon one which i love and it's spf 50 so it's supposed to be really good so yeah i actually use this every day now only thing is it does like peel on your neck like when you put it down your neck it kind of peels a bit okay, i don't think i need to prime my face because i'm not putting on any like foundation or anything so i'm just gonna put on no tiny bit quite a lot because this is like my coverage for the day i'm just gonna put these bronzing drops from say all over my skin these are like the drunk elephant ones but i think these are absolutely perfect for summer when you want to look glowy if you haven't exactly got a tan yet or on holiday if you just want to like enhance the tan so i just put on quite a bit and then i take a bit of moisturizer and just put a bit of moisturizer in rub it all in and if you've got too much i just rub it down my neck oh my god i put on quite a lot it makes your skin 
so tan. I'm actually really glowy right now. But yeah, it just adds a really nice glow instead of using like all skin go skin tint if you want to go more natural for like summer. And I actually got mine on Cult Beauty. But a lot of people have been asking me recently like, where I got it from. But I'm pretty sure in the UK you can get stuff Cult Beauty or probably like Sephora. For like concealers and stuff, I'm only going to do like a small bit of concealer today. So I'm just going to use this Dior one. So I literally love this. I used to use the e.l.f. camo one. Oh my god, that's like exploded. I just use a tiny bit. It's like that and then that. That's how much concealer I use. She just exploded all over the bottle. I don't really understand what happened. It just like exploded when I opened it. <laughs> the only thing is it's got like a brush up here so it's quite messy. Blend that in with a little beauty blender. I'm only doing a tiny bit today. I didn't really want to use powder but I feel like you've got to like set the concealer that you use in place. So I always use this. Well I just got this Charlotte Tilbury one and it's so good. It makes your skin like so flawless. All you do is just tap a tiny bit under your eyes and like look at the difference. Like this side's more like glowy not matte and it's like seamless on your eyes and I use this powder puff from Sheen that I literally am obsessed with. So it comes with two love hearts and they're like a pound for two and they're so cute. I've talked about this product so many times. I'm just using the refined bronzer and I'm gonna have a little chit chat while I put it on. What was I? I had something to say but now I've forgotten what I'm saying. So I'm only putting a tiny bit up my cheek. So shoot. I've got bronzer all up my like dressing gown thing. I have something important to talk about but now I've literally forgotten what I was going to talk about. So obviously it's basically really hot and because I'm in year 10 now I'm going back to do like mocks. Not mocks, it's just like a few tests in like the hall, exam hall. So I'm going to like revise but not like as much as I would for like year 11 ones. I'm just going to look over like my main like subjects that I'm not as strong at. Like maths, a bit of science and then a bit of like option subjects. Business, which I quite understand business. But yeah, today I have double business, math, science and then we have like a tutor thing that we do but i'm also not looking forward to going back into summer because my hay fever is so bad at school like it's horrendous in like the summer like i'm always needing to like blow my nose but i don't want to blow my nose in school because that's just like i can't do that so yeah that is my face all like bronze okay so for blush and highlight we're gonna use a red beauty combo so i just got these two like their little pebble ones so the first thing i'm gonna do is their blush melting blush in the shade nearly rose i think a bit up my cheek like that and this one gives you like the most natural like blush because it like melts into your skin but it looks like your skin is like just rosy a bit on my nose i don't exactly blend it all in with this brush but most of it i literally love how satisfying it's to close and i take my beauty blender and just tap any excess in i do use a liquid one for highlights i love their liquid highlight i love the liquid one for like my cheeks but then i use powder on my nose and this is really gross i don't know if you're supposed to have different beauty blenders for different things but i use the same one to blend in my highlight and i just like tap it up my cheek and then for on my nose, I use the powder highlight and this is the Rare Beauty one in the shade Mesmerize. And I just take this little brush and just tap a tiny bit on. This goes on like, I don't know what this part of your nose is called, just like the end of your nose. I just put a tiny bit on, rub it in. You know when it's look like block highlight? And I just take a tiny bit and just put a tiny bit in the middle and just really rub it in with my nose so it doesn't look as like prominent. Take a tiny bit more and I tap a tiny bit in the corners. You can't really tell on camera but it just like lightens up like your face so it just looks a bit brighter in those points. So yeah, that is in the shade mesmerize and that's in the shade enchant but they're literally the same color kind of thing so this is a really good combo for highlight but yeah other than that that is like my base makeup i still need to do eyebrows mascara setting spray and then i'm gonna show you guys how i straighten my hair to set my makeup i just use the airbrush floss filter one the charlotte tilbury setting spray i actually love this stuff and it smells so nice so i just spray like a bit on my face i don't know and then because it literally smells gorge i then take this like makeup bag that i have I sit here fanning my face for a good like five, ten minutes. No, that's that's an exaggeration, but like a minute. Just to make it all like, melt into my skin. Okay, I'm now just gonna quickly run some eyebrow gel through my eyes. These like eyebrow gels go dirty so fast. And then I just like press it in shape. But it's so hard to do, so I'll just like come back with you guys. Okay, I've just kind of done my eyebrows, I just kind of brushed them up. And now I'm gonna do lashes. So I use this lash curler from Sheen. It's so good. It's one of the ones with like little bristles, like little comb pieces there. And then for my mascara, I recently got the telescopic one. It is so good it lengthens your lashes so much i haven't like ever got a mascara that lengthens them this much i used to use the gossier one but it ran out so i'm gonna wait for this one to finish before i repurchase that one because i was thinking it'd be really nice like layered but yeah i take this and i love the wand on this it's so like thin so yeah i just take this and just run it through my lashes this might take a while so i'm gonna come back with you guys and show you the end result okay so i've my mascara my lashes looking extra long but i also need to wipe it off with some cotton buds we really need to start doing my straightening so it's getting towards eight o'clock and i haven't straightened my hair yet okay so that's like my full makeup like summer glowy makeup routine for school so i'm gonna take out my little clips now 
now and get ready to straighten my hair. This is my first time straightening it after getting my hair redone. I use the same straighteners that I've used in like the past few videos. I haven't changed them. They're the Remington ones. They're so good. She's like 20. GHC's like, what, 120? So they're just these ones, like black. Plug them in and section my hair off. Okay, so I just section my hair with a scrunchie. As if I'm doing a half half hour, I just take like the top layer a bit more thicker. And this bit is my bottom layer. A scrunchie and put that at the top. You've actually got more on the bottom. Right, I'm going to talk you guys through what I'm going to try and do today. I've got so much hair stuck. Okay, so we've just straightened this side. I'm never good at flicking it. So I'm just going to take a little section. And what she does, she just like wraps it around. And then do you like that? Whoa, that one like really flicked. So that's how I've done that side. That's quite nice. So obviously, it'll be like layered with my other hair. I'm going to try and do this side. And I'll show you guys like the two on each. Guys, I've given up. Like, this does not look good. So I've just decided to straighten out the curls that I put in. I'm just going to have straight hair. I'm in such a rush right now, guys. You don't even know. It's five past eight. I was supposed to be done by like 10 to today. I've just straightened my hair, but I always take this mirror and put it to the back of my head so I can see what if it's like fully straight at the back. So I'm going to do that. Get my uniform on. I need to go and eat. So I'm, in, I'm literally going to be late. Okay, so for my perfume of the day, I think I'm going to do the same one that I used last time, the Pink Soul Janeiro one. I'm just going to spray that on me. Little lip gloss, but it's in like a little tube. So I'm going to use that today, I think. It's like watermelon scented, so it smells really nice. Put that on my lips. So yeah, that is like my whole school morning routine. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment if you did. I'm in such a rush right now. I'm literally going to be late for school. It is 20 past 8, so we leave at this time every day. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.